Hello, everybody. I'm down here. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Hi. Hi. Terry Hart and Walt Disney's legendary Imagineer, and I'm here posing with a multitude of awards that I've won in the past and also wanted to share with you that on May 14th, yes, that's right, I'm going to be honored as a Disney legend at the Disney Anna Fan Club uh, International's uh, special dinner on May 14th. Love for you to attend. Love for you to do that. Go to DisneyAnnaFanClub.org to get all the information that you need to attend Saturday the 14th. It is at the Doubletree Suites by Hilton on uh, the City Drive, 100 City Drive South in Orange County slash Anaheim. So uh, I would love for you to come if you want. Uh, there is a whole day event, so I will be doing a presentation in the morning, and then at night there will be that special dinner. But if you want to go just to the dinner, hit me up in the comments, and we'll I'll talk to you about uh, reaching out to me via Messenger or in a YouTube comment, and I will get to you that information. There is a price for just the dinner, and then there is a price for the whole event. You'll see the whole event price on uh, Disney, uh, Disneyana.org, and then you will see um, you will see a uh, a link, and then you can also reach out to me if you want to go to just the dinner because your Saturday is very very busy. Okay, so let's get right into it. Moon Moon Knight, talk to me. Help me, help me, help me. Okay, many of you who know me know I'm not a Marvelite. Okay, but my husband is, and I love him for it, and I'm always eager to give it a chance. And one of the times I gave it a chance and it really surprised me was seeing uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Is that the correct title? Forgive me if it's not, but the latest Spider-Man. We waited a very long time to see it because we had to see it in the theater and my husband is high risk. So due to the pandemic, we waited until there were only four. That's right, four people in the theater to see Spider-Man. And I brought a pillow and a blanket because my husband told me it was over three hours and I was sure I was going to fall asleep sleep. But guess what? I did not. So when Moon Knight came out and several of my friends on my Patreon page uh, said to me that they were excited, um, one was the husband of a very dear friend of mine, Holly Mack, and she said that her husband couldn't wait to see it. And I looked at the poster and thought, wow, I think that's a really cool ghost guy on there. I know nothing about this character. I turned to my husband. He said he knew nothing about this character. So we thought, hey, this could be a real fun telling of the stories. Well, honestly, for me, guys, I need your help because it's not. I keep, I got to see the ghost guy one time and I want to see the ghost guy again with the white cape. Why am I not seeing him? And why is it taking over five episodes for me to not be able to see him? I will say that there was an appearance by a very large, attractive animal character. I don't want to spoil it for you, but I loved that character, but that's not enough to keep me watching it. I mean, that character was brilliant, adorable, sweet and cute and fun and giant size. I don't know. I liked it, but uh, that's not enough to keep me watching. I'm feeling like I'll let my husband finish this one off. And then maybe when I have time, which I don't have a lot of time to watch TV, guys, don't have a lot of time to sit and watch something I have to pay attention to. I'd much rather watch things that I don't have to pay attention to and get my work done. That is my music track is watching things like Doubt and Abbey, which I've seen a hundred million times. Kung Fu, the classic series, which I've seen a hundred million and two times. Star Wars, which I've seen over three gazillion times. You know what I'm saying? It all plays here while I'm sculpting or uh, illustrating here in front of me. So uh, it's very challenging me, to me. I do love series because I can have my lunch during my day and watch an hour of the series, you know, watch an episode. This is why I love Ted Lasso, because I could watch an hour of Ted Lasso while I'm eating. Of course, now I know Ted Lasso so well, I just put it on and just let it roll. Um, just love that series too. So that's why I thought today you guys could help me if you would be so kind as to let me know what you love about Moon Knight. If it's not hitting you too, maybe we can all gather together and say, hey, why am I not getting this series? I absolutely loved, um, um, and it just went out of my head. There are some that I love, series that I love, but there were a lot that I was like, yeah, meh. And I got to be honest with you, it, 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 it's hit and miss with me because my time is very valuable. Not that your time is not very valuable, but your time is valuable too, yes. And if you're excited about the show, you tune in. 
but you feel kind of like if you're not excited about the show, you've tuned in and now you've wasted an hour that you could do something. Boba Fett. Honestly, Boba Fett really disappointed me. It really, Boba Fett should have stayed the sheriff. Um, but anyway, I digress. We're talking about Moon Knight today, and it would be great if you helped me out. Before I go, post in the comments what you think and help me out, okay? That would be great. I'd really appreciate it. So a few announcements uh, just to let you know what's happening in, in life, liberty, and all of that. Um, um, yes. Uh, first of all, please join the Patreon page, Terry's Tribe. Your voice needs to be heard. When I started this, I thought people would like to hear from a legendary Imagineer, and they do. But it turns out that this legendary Imagineer, Jim Henson Puppeteer, fully trademarked artist and, and international speaker, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Google me. I don't want to tell you the whole list right now, but I've had a very extensive career and I have Ask Me Any Things on Friday. So if you want to know how to be an Imagineer, how to make a living doing what you love, or you just want to know why my hair is like this and I look so white, state it differently. I'm half black. But anyway, uh, you can ask just about any question and that's on Friday. Okay. But, um, but I'm vibrant. You can tell I'm, I'm usually known as the uh, caffeine to begin your day. So uh, if you want to do this, it's just $5 a month. The, 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 there is a tier that I call the, you know, that is a, is a benefit to me and a benefit to you. But it's uh, $5 a month, $60 a year. There are higher tiers, and I'm working to make them uh, to where if you decide to invest that kind of money per month that you're getting something for it. But go in, look around. We won't put the golden handcuffs on you, but we'd love for you to join if you have a voice and you're a positive, energetic person who likes to just chat, talk Disney, or uh, help others with challenges. Because in this day with the pandemic, whether we're in or we're out and what the heck, mask or no mask or what the heck, you know, and people are getting sick, people, you know, we're, we're hearing about people that are going out and getting sick when they're in areas. So uh, it, it, what it means is COVID-19 is, is alive and well and after you. So basically, if you're having a little bit of trauma or any kind of, you're, you just want upbeat, energetic, no negative news kind of thing, won't guarantee it's all not negative news, but it's a great discussion. It's upbeat. It's fun. And uh, we take care of each other there. So I'd love to have you join. This is where you join. Check it out. It doesn't hurt you to check it out. So please check it out, especially if you have an uplifting, positive voice and you want more. You want to see us live. We do a Zoom call every week. Tonight will be our first Zoom call uh, at night because many of the tribes said they were having a hard time getting to the weekly Zoom call on Wednesday. So we're going to test out tonight, Monday night Zoom call. So uh, think about it. Okay. That is patreon.com slash Terry Harden. Join the tribe. We could use your voice. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. There you go. Also on May 14th, as I said before, I will be uh, honored as a Disney legend, and I'm very excited about it. And I will be, uh, they tell me that everyone who attends the dinner, and I hope I got that right, uh, but everyone who attends the dinner will get um, a copy of the illustration that I did specifically for this event. Now, I cannot guarantee that it's going to be in color. It may be in black and white, okay? I don't know what the Disney Anna fan club decided, but I gave it to them both in black and white and in color. And the color one, I can tell you for sure, will be auctioned off at this dinner event. But it's a fun event. If you want to go for the whole day, it's really worth it. We're going to have Bob Gurr, who built just about anything in Disneyland that runs and moves and has a motor. And then we also have uh, Garner Holt, who who uh, one of his claim to fame that you all know is Fantasmic. Okay. So they will be given presentations in the morning. And there is a full day ticket that includes the dinner too. Okay. Any questions about that, pop in here and uh, we'll go from there. Finally, the Cheshire Cat is done. I will be reaching out to those of you who have adopted the Cheshire Cat so that uh, I want to talk to you about whether you want to pick it up on May 14th 
or whether or not you want me to ship it. It's ready to go. Uh, I am going to send the questionnaire email out to you. Do you want it shipped or not? And once you answer me, I will ship it or I will put it in a nice little safe spot so that I can give it to you on the 14th. I know they were late. Here's the thing about the fact that they're late. We're still affected by the pandemic when it comes to mailing, but more importantly, um, I'm very particular about these. Every cat, uh, my bookkeeper said the other day that she she said that it is a limited edition of 50, okay? And, I, and let me just give you some visual aid while I'm talking about this cat, okay? You can see what uh, he looks like. There he is, right there. So there he is. Uh, I always do a custom box and I always do an experience for you. It always comes with a certificate of authenticity. I'm a very, uh, very detailed oriented sculptor. The cat it fits pretty much in the palm of your hand. It's limited to 50. However, each and every one is hand painted, which means I do not have a duplicating painting system. So they're all going to be a little bit different. That doesn't mean you get to pick through all of them because they do imprint on you when you adopt them. So you have to pick a number and trust. And when it imprints on you, it's going to be very sad if you put it back in the box and say you don't want it. But they're all meticulously painted. And they're also, the boxes are hand done by hand by yours truly. They're hand signed by me. So they really are little one of a kinds. Okay. But I use fit limited edition of 50, which makes it a little more affordable to you. I have about 20 left. They will be at the show and sale, which is May 15th, which is the day after the dinner. So if you want to want that or you want more information, you can post in the comments or reach me on Messenger. I went like this. Oh, I did with it. That's good. Post it in the comments or, or you want to uh, reach me on Messenger or whatever. Feel free to do so, okay? All right. So, guys, I'm going to go to your comments, and I want to hear more about what's happening. Uh, and and we, can talk, we can talk a few things, and then um, there you go. Okay. All right. Excellent. I actually did that in 12 minutes. That's, that's a record for me guys. So let me just pat myself on the back. Okay. I'm done. All right. <laughs> Good morning. What did you miss? Richard, I just talked about May 14th and the dinner, um, which you go to, you know, you know how to do this, but disneyana.com or disneyannafanclub.org, uh, to learn more. But, um, uh, I hope I see you there. And then the show and sale on the 15th, Collectors to Collectors, and I talked about Patreon. So now you are caught up, and I'm asking people to help me with the uh, <laughs> Moon Knight deal, okay? All right, here we go. Francisca, you show up here just beautifully. So good morning. Just keep hitting it the same way when you get back on the other side. Uh, nothing I can do about it. I just have to keep doing the same thing, uh, giving them permission as well on StreamYard. Hello, Angie. Hope everything, everyone has a great week. I hope you do too. May the 4th, I will be at Disneyland. Uh, not for the May the 4th event, but the morning of that. I want to celebrate my own way. Star Wars is my jam. Star Wars is my thing. And I want to do it my way, which means I won't be carrying my lightsaber that I built because, you know, you got to carry that around. And I don't want to do that, but I will be celebrating. Yes, I will. Moon Knight couldn't get into. Uh, Moon Knight says Michael. Couldn't get into it all. Looks like a wannabe Deadpool. LOL. So, Michael, are you having challenges that I am? That's what it sounds like. Michael Clark the second is that you're like me. You watch it for an hour and then you wonder why you, you, you watched it for an hour. My husband is a love, you know, he's trying to explain it to me. And, and I look at him with crossed eyes and goes, where's the guy in the white outfit? You know, <laughs> I really like that guy. You know, so they all laugh at me. Hi, Paul. Good morning. Can't stay for long. Thanks for the plug about art of event. I'm looking forward to interviewing. So Paul will be at the dinner and he will be uh, uh, interviewing me. And then also let me just not, not mention Kim Irvine and uh, they're going to be celebrating Kim Irvine as well with the legends award and her mother, who is the model for Madame Leota 
and has been for a while. And now Kim has kind of taken that on for the Haunted Mansion. So if you love the Haunted Mansion, it's going to be kind of Haunted Mansion centric. So you're going to be digging it. And uh, I hope you can I hope you can join us. It's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. And then stay for the show and sale, because if you're someone who's looking for that rare and unusual collectible, there's often a good time you can get it. So if I step aside here, you'll see, maybe I should step aside this way. But if I step aside this way, anyway, let me not confuse you. This uh, Mickey Mouse, which is a Robo Mickey, I found there. And then I also was given this there, this nice little book of how to make a Cinderella dress by the birds, uh, by the sweet little birds in Cinderella. So there's a lot of things that are unusual and unique because collectors sell to collectors as a rule at the Disney Anna fan club. OK, that's usually what shows up now. It's after the pandemic. I don't know how big it's going to be, how vast it's going to be, but we'd love to have you show up. OK, so if you if you're a collector who, you know, love those little McDonald's glasses or you loved uh, uh, the watches from Nightmare Before Christmas, I don't know what's your, your thing. But a lot of times you can find that stuff and some very rare pins and unusual things. And the bottom line is you're going to have people just like you who love to chat and help you and share. And and uh, before the pandemic, it was fantastic. And I think it's only going to be more fantastic. Uh, this time. So consider going. It's right there near Disneyland. So not far to drive to Disneyland and enjoy it. However, I have heard the 14th and 15th are sold out, but you could come on the 13th and then stay for the weekend with the Disney and fan club. So Paul, there you go. I'm going to continue to uh, say that I did mention Paul uh, about my drawing and uh, I wasn't sure if you were going to give the people at the dinner, the color one or the black and white. But uh, if you want to just leave that as a surprise, but uh, I did show it to them. So everyone has seen it. Michelle Dunell, the tribe can be your happy place. Come join us and see. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle Dunell and I, the, one other thing I do on the tribe, which I should mention to you guys, and uh, feel free to keep trying to help me with Moon Knight. But uh, uh, there are charities. A lot of artists reach out to me both here during the Ask Me Anything and also on my tribe page to ask me how they might do more with their art or what they do when they, they make a living doing what they love. One of the persons is an amazing, uh, she cleans houses for a living and she's amazing. She's always giving us cleaning tips and things and, and she's really good at it, but she's also the great mouse detective. And I keep telling her she should really uh, create a service where, you know, you pay her a couple of bucks to find this, you know, maybe like five bucks on top if she finds it. You know, she says it's really nothing, but she's amazing. She has found some things for me that uh, have been absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I thank her every day for it. And uh, she's really good at it. And I don't think she realized how good at it she is. So that's what the tribe does is kind of pull out all of that passion or that magic that maybe you suppressed as a human being and let you, and then we let you know how wonderful you are because you're a human being. So I hope you do that. Anyway, Michelle and I have both entered the Chuck Jones Center for Creativity Red Dot Auction. We're both painter. We both painted. She paints in oils and I sculpt. Plain and simple, guys. And uh, this will be my fifth painting that I've entered and fingers crossed we're going to get picked. But anyone can can submit a painting to celebrate the charity and the people bid on it. And then the money goes to the Chuck Joe's Center for Creativity. So if it's something you think might be cool and fun, um, the tribe, I'm always presenting these opportunities to people if they want to stick a toe in. And in my case, I wanted to learn how to paint. So I've been studying and training. And so I just put myself out there. I have not yet got a red dot. A red dot means that someone loved your painting so much, they're going to contribute $750 to the charity. That is my quest, Terry's quest for the red dot. But anyway, lots of stuff happening in the tribe. I hope you'll join us. And thank you, Michelle, for saying just what you said. I really appreciate it. The illustration you did is beautiful, by the way. Thank you. I got to see it on Saturday. Thank you. So so uh, that castle that I showed you, it will be auctioned off. The original will be auctioned off at the dinner. And it's watercolor and ink on watercolor paper. So it's different from the one that you're going to be getting to you. It's going to be, it's the larger size. We, we did, uh, the one you will get will be more of, a, of an intimate size, but each one will get. But the actual original that I did, I'm auctioning off. So 
That's one of the things I'm auctioning off. And also, since Paul has to pop away, but but uh, he probably is still he's still probably still in the house. Let me see if I have it here. Doesn't look like I do. I was going to show my. Yeah. Oh, yes, I do. Here he is. Okay. Here he is. Okay. There he is. This also will be auctioned off. So this, uh, uh, the Disney Anna fan club, uh, christened a few artists by giving them a, uh, giant vinyl mation to paint. And I did a robo Mickey. So he too will be auctioned off this little steampunky robo Mickey will also be auctioned off on the day to, uh, support, the uh the Disney and a fan club. So if you want to go to the dinner, please do. It's a got it's a lot of fun. It's really wonderful. And the added bonus is Kim Irvine was the artist that they chose to introduce me to Disneyland when I started sculpting for the parks years ago. She was the the big kahuna that they attached my little wagon to so that people would come see her and see my work as well. So I'm very excited to see her. I haven't seen her in a very long time and uh, you're going to love her because she's magical and she's wonderful. And uh, you get two, two, two Imagineers and one to chat with. So don't miss it. Okay. All right. There you go. Uh, thank you for that, Paul. Michael says now, New talking record, LOL. Thank you, Michael, for noticing. I love you. Yeah, we're trying to tighten this up a little bit. Stephen Golden, good morning. How are you, sweetheart? Uh, I will post on Facebook about the uh, the thing that you want. I didn't do it over the weekend because my roller crump chest set had a little hitch in the get along. So uh, uh, I'm back. I'm back to calmness. So, hi, I'm coming on Sunday, May 15th to see you. Thank you. Yay. I'm so excited. And uh, I will try to have uh, a tribe gift. I'm going to try and have a tribe gift. I don't know if I can make it happen because it's two weeks away. Ah! But I'm hoping I can have a little something for you guys that are part of the tribe that are coming. Um, I'm going to try and make it happen. I, no guarantees because I'm a busy lady, but uh, I'll do my best. Uh, but Diane, great to see you and I can't wait to see you. Great to see you and I can't wait to see you. Yes. Yes. Judy Moore, hello. How are you? And here's Darren. Have an amazing week, everyone. Another plug for the tribe. Such a source of support and inspiration. We would love to have you join us. Oh, yay. That was nice of him to say, right? So what I'm noticing is there's not a lot of comments about... Moon Knight, how am I supposed to take this? So let me explain to you and please post in the comments if you if you watch this and you love this, especially if you watch and you love this. Help me, please. Help me, help me, please. Okay. So I didn't know. I am not a Marvelite. This is what I call you guys who love Marvel. Okay. Not really my cup of tea, but that is not an apology. That is just please take with a grain of salt what I say. So the first thing I fell in love with really seriously was WandaVision. Well, uh, Rocket and Garden of the Galaxy. But you notice it's not Guardians of the Galaxy that I love. It's Rocket and Guardians of the Galaxy and Groot. Other than that, meh. But I fell in love with WandaVision. And I had no idea what WandaVision was. I had to ask my husband, why is she called Wanda? And why is she also called the Scarlet Witch? Because I was not getting it. Also, I couldn't tell if the person she loved was a robot, an android, a cyborg. What was Vision? And then why was he called Vision? This was all uh, my husband helped me to understand. And I was very grateful because I loved WandaVision. I thought it was amazing. I think because it had a foot in things like the Dick Van Dyke show. And... Um, and uh, Bewitched, which is my kind of thing. But I loved it. And my husband explained that it was something that would be reached back and forth to from the Marvel Universe, because you guys in Marvel seem to dig this stuff, right? So all of a sudden, I heard about the metaverse. The meta what, I said. And so my husband said, well, I don't want to explain it, which is a good thing. I'm a show me girl. I don't understand dialogue. So he started to show me. Well, then we went to see Spider-Man. And Spider-Man No Way Home. And that was my first experience with uh, the metaverse. Now, my husband was able to tell me that technically it wasn't my first experience with the metaverse, but uh, it was probably the first one I was aware of. 
Now he's high risk. So we went to see Spider-Man very late, not late as in the hour, but late in that it was in the theaters for a while when there were only, you guessed it, four people in the theater. So when we saw it, I thought I was going to, I took a blankie and a pillow because I was sure I was going to fall asleep. It's over three hours. I had seen a lot of Spider-Man. I thought, what more could they do? Well, they surprised me. And you guys who saw it fell in love with it too. They really surprised me. I did not even feel the three hours in Spider-Man. I didn't feel it. And I feel time, right? But I did not feel it. I was so impressed with the way that movie unfolded, how it helped people like me to understand it. And uh, it actually made me love characters that I really didn't like when I saw the other Spider-Mans. So um, I was impressed, very, very impressed. And, uh, and uh, I watched Dr. Strange show how if you know, they didn't do something about this metaverse. Things could get metaverse. This could get bad. So uh, that was my first exposure to it. And it crisscrosses into the Doctor Strange that is going to be released. Be released. What is it? May 8th um, or something like that. It's going to be released. And uh, that's kind of exciting. Um, I, I said, ooh, that looks good. Good, good Doctor Strange versus bad Doctor Strange must have been at least fun for Cumberbatch and uh, who plays the character. So I was stoked and I wanted to see more. So uh, this Moon Knight came up and I really, really thought the character was cool. The white character with the white cape looking rather ominous and ghost-like. And I love ghosts and and kind of supernatural and cre crazy people. I watched the first one of Moon Knight, didn't quite understand it, but loved the bird head character and realized that there's like gods involved and Egypt involved and it it, it was kind of entertaining. But now after the fifth, uh, fifth episode, I'm really bored and wanting to see the ghost guy. So there was another large character that I liked and I thought was adorable and fun and big and, and, and was entertaining, but I just, my time, I don't have a lot of time to pay attention to TV. So I'm sitting here feeling like, why should I continue watching it? Maybe I should just wait till it finishes. And then when I get a minute, binge watch it on a weekend or something when I'm, you know, uh, on a family day when I don't, when I'm curled up with my husband and we want to watch something with the dog and not move very much, you know, maybe, make some cool food and just binge watch a, a show and whatever. Right now I'm feeling like tuning in is just not, not, not doing well for me. So if you want to help me out there, um, I would love it. I would love it, love it, love it. So, uh, let's see what we've got. We've got Judy Moore saying hello everyone. And we've got have an amazing week. And then the plug for the tribe. Yes. I've never heard of Moon Knight. Yes. If you, it's on Disney plus. And uh, I have to say that when I talk about Disney plus to people, one of the things I love about Disney plus more than the movies, and it's great to be able to watch a movie whenever you want, of course, but uh, I love the behind the scenes. So I love the life and times of the Disney employees that work at Disneyland and Walt Disney world. That's always very exciting for me. I love the Pixar shorts, which I absolutely adore. Um, there are so many things that you would never get to see because they didn't have a platform for that I enjoy. But I will say that the Marvel stuff is not cutting it for me. And so if you love this particular Moon Knight, please help me to understand why. And it's not dissing you. Believe me, I'm not accusing you of anything other than being more in the know than I am about Moon Knight because I, I'm not getting it, guys. It's not, it's not, it's not happening in my world. So if it's happening in your world, um, let me know. Okay. Holly Mack says she hasn't watched it, but Oscar Isaac's character has a mental illness. Correct. So is the ghost guy, one of the other personalities. Good question, Holly, ask your husband. <laughs> He's the one I hope and will chime in at some point and help me understand what's going on because he showed up once count it once. And I was like, this is just not fair. I thought I was going to see this magical creature do some stuff, you know, and I didn't get to see him at all. I did get to see, you are correct. The, I don't know. I don't know if it's a mental illness, if it is a doppelganger, if it is past versus future. 
I don't know. The problem is I'm not caring very much. And that's what's really sad. If I didn't know and I was into it, then that would be cool, right? You know, you guys ever seen The Green Mile? You must have seen The Green Mile with Michael Clark Dun Duncan as John Coffey, written by uh, Stephen King and Tom Hanks is in it about people on death row and in the, in the, what is it? The thirties or the forties and the it's linoleum. So it's called the green mile. Anyway, there's a cut, you know, uh, John coffee is a magical creature. And at one point something happens in that movie that you are glued because you don't know what happened and you don't know what's going to happen and you absolutely love it. So I'm someone who loves this sort of things usually, but not here. Yeah, Holly, I'm afraid, not here. Did you get to, no, because I didn't get to visit Rolly, Stephen. He canceled. They canceled. Yeah, they canceled. So I have to reschedule. But I will go when I'm going to stay positive again. And uh, when, he re when he says I can come again, we had our everything ready to go, but they had to cancel. So such is the way it is when you're in your 90s, okay? There's good days and bad days. And uh, yeah, my heart was sad, but my head gets it, okay? So I'll be reaching out to them again. And boy, will we all celebrate when I get to see Rolly Crump and go to this wonderful Tip Top restaurant. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, Diane, Moon Knight. I've watched a couple of episodes. Acting is great. Marvel is not my cup of tea either, so I can't keep up, but I have liked a lot of different films. Is it possible to have a name for boyfriends comparable to chick flick? Yeah, you know, or, and, 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 and Diane, you have a really great question here because it could be that girls don't get it, but I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say that I might not be the demographic because I'm about to be 65. And I don't want to say that old people don't get it, but this person might not. It might just be, there are times I watch stuff and go, what is the message there? And my husband will turn to me and say, you're not the demographic. And he's right. I might not be the demographic. I, and that's not a problem. If it turns out after I watch it that a lot of people like it, then yay. But I have a very eclectic taste in films. For example, many people don't like Squid Games and I love it. Okay. I really get that movie. I really, really get it. In fact, I have a class where I'm learning to bake those little things you punch out. So I really, really love this, love this movie. It's very, very violent, uh, but it really feels like the 5,000 fingers of Dr. Teeth going, of uh, Dr. T going nuts and crazy. And, um, um, it has a message about, you know, how far will you go for a game show? You know, really that's the, that's the deal. So, um, it, it just really, it really resonated with me and I'm not about violence or anything, but the, but I've often wondered how far would a person go to win money on a game show? And this is kind of their message. And so I love squid games, but a lot of people don't. So I couldn't maybe not be the demographic for this. And so if that's the case, there you go. You know, if that's the case, that's the case. So Diane, I'm not sure that it's a, it's, it's, it's a guy film. My husband says he's like this and uh, he, he, he think, you know, he's willing to watch the episodics because uh, this last one made him curious enough to move to the next one. But he's still like this. It's not like, wow, I got to, you know, in Mandalorian, you were like, I got to see the next one. I got to see, well, that one wasn't very good, but I still going to see the next one because Mandalorian is amazing. That's the kind of thing you want to have happen in your chest, don't you? You kind of want that feeling of that. So, so uh, I don't, you know, I don't know if there's a name for it, but I don't know if that's it, to be honest with you, you know? Thank you, Bobby. And uh, Bobby, on the 14th of May... I think you've heard me listen, say it. Uh, I'm going to write to you today and ask you, uh, it, you were saying you might like to come and get your cat this week. Uh, that's a possibility, but I'm, I'm very, very busy. So I would just, 
probably handed out to the door we wouldn't be able to visit. So you may want to wait till the 14th and come to the to the show and sale on the 15th or see me on the 14th, get a get uh, named a Disney legend. And uh, if that doesn't work for you, I'm happy to uh, set something up uh, later in the week. So we'll talk. I'm going to send you an email and ask you specifically about your cat. Basically, the cat's ready. Just we got to work it out. Tonight I can't, but uh, but we'll try and work out something, okay? All right. Hugs, um, you know, hugs and hugs and hugs and hugs and hugs and hugs, right? Um, also, I'll be at Disneyland on May 4th, so I'm not available that day. Bobby. And on Tuesday, I'm going to see family. So like I said, very, very busy week. So we'll talk. Okay. All righty. Okay. Excellent. Anyway, uh, that's kind of the situation. That's kind of what's, what's been happening on my end with this, uh, dark, this, this moon night is that I really, I mean, all the posters make you feel like, you're going to see a guy with glowing eyes and a ghostly outfit and a cape and great. I, and I'm, where is he? I just wanted to see the white guy and the cape and the eyes and the hood and the stuff. I was excited to see him. So, uh, honestly, like I said, uh, looking for, uh, someone to just share with me that. I thought today was a perfect day to ask the question. My husband laughed at me because he said, he thinks the reason you don't see the ghost guy is because, you know, the budget is limited and that it costs a lot to let us see the ghost guy. But then why would you advertise with it? I mean, if he's the moon knight, why do moonlight if you can't show moon knight? How do you do moon knight without showing moon knight? Isn't that moon knight? Am I wrong? I mean, I'm not a Marvelite. So you guys who know this stuff, um, I'm just asking for help basically because I don't get that show. Here we go. Tea is done. I don't get that show at all. I'm just so super, super confused about that show. So that's why I reached out to you today. Um, but, uh, since there's not a lot of people <laughs> who want to tell me and share with me about that show, uh, I get it, guys. Boy, I so get it. Uh, I want to tell you that, uh, uh, ask you to please join me for Ask Me Anything Friday, which happens as many Fridays as possible. And then this Wednesday, I'll be at the park in the morning and the part of the afternoon because I'm celebrating Star Wars my way. And so if you happen to be celebrating it, excuse me, your way, you know what I look like. Don't be shy. Come up. Be sweet. Be kind. Say hello. And I'll love to say hello right back at you. Okay. Uh, the Rolly Crump chess set is progressing very well. But as you heard the question, I was supposed to meet with Rolly and we had to cancel. So we are going to reschedule. And believe me, I will share with you the joy of being able to have Rolly hold in his hands chess pieces that I've created based on his art. So I'm super, super excited and uh, uh, to have that happen. But uh, it, 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 it all, it's all in good time, right? You just kind of take each day as it comes. So my husband said the other day, and he's right, I will get more pieces done, which means Rolly will have more pieces to see live, which excites me tremendously. So uh, I think that's it. Oh, I did want to mention to you that I will be at Disneyland July 17th for the birthday. So I used to always go. I've never missed the birthday, but last year I missed it because it was extremely limited. People, everyone wanted to go. Everyone hadn't been in a long time and I didn't want to take a spot away from other people. But this year I grabbed my spot because I always gather for the birthday, July 17th. And I'm there most of the day. I'm there at rope drop. It's the only time I'm there at rope drop. I'm there at rope drop. I usually hang over in the carnation corner area because it's a nice spot to sit, relax and I stay at that table. If you want to come and visit or get something um, autographed, you don't have to pay me. Just buy me a cool drink, and I, you know, or a coffee or something, and we'll trade for the signature that day. You know, 
Um, a lot of times I'm sitting there and forget to eat because that's what artists do. So I'd love to have you visit me on July 17th. And if you haven't secured your ticket, now is the time, gang. And um, I hope I see you there. I'm excited to celebrate that day with you. Um, it's a tradition with me, so it's going to be really nice to see everybody on that day. Uh, May the 4th, I am there this Wednesday as well, um, just meeting some friends who are friends in Star Wars, so we're going to gather on that day. And then um, other things, May is action-packed and full of adventure. So uh, I will keep you posted on stuff that's happening, coming, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But like I said, today is the day that I... Uh, make sure that the Cheshire Cat boxes have the full experience or extra special. I outdid myself this time, but then I say that about everything um, that I do. Uh, it's so you guys have heirloom quality art to collect, and I don't know how much longer um, I'll be able to do it because uh, things they are changing, you know. Um, and that's not a pressure thing. It's just that uh, I want to do some of my own art. I'm starting to feel the pull of doing my own art. And people say, do you know it, if it will sell? I'll never know unless I start creating it. So I want to start creating it. I have some amazing ideas. And people in the tribe are helping me to go to talk about that next step as well. So I'm very excited about that happening. So um, let's see. Bob Burdeen says, tried to book, to book 717. It's already booked up. Woo! You see what I mean, Bob? You see what I mean? Maybe your daughters can get you in. Yeah, maybe they can do that. Maybe your daughters can get you in. Because I'd love to see you that day. If not, maybe we can meet. Um, maybe we can meet outside in downtown Disney if you're in the area. You know, have lunch out there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can do something like that. So uh, you're a tribe member, so I'll go that extra mile. Angie says, so short today. Uh, have a great May 4th. Excited to hear how it goes. Yeah, it's a little short today because I thought I might have more people kind of chime in on Moon Knight, but maybe you haven't seen it because you have a busy schedule and maybe what you watch on Disney Plus is the stuff about the employees and the people and you know, it's really nice to hear about why people are Disney cast members. That's like one of my favorite things about Disney Plus is, is talking about the people behind the thing. And that's why they like to talk to me because why were you an Imagineer? How did it happen? You know, when they ask me anything, this is what goes on. So uh, I love you guys. Lots of hugs, lots of love. I will sign off here because as Angie says, it's short today. This is a record for me under one hour, but uh, no reason to take up your time. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, hi, Michelle. I'm going to keep my eyes open for July 17th ticket. I've never been there on the birthday. Please do, Michelle. It's it's a great day. And, um, and that is, you know, this is one of the reasons that when my, my, I didn't book till yesterday. I booked it yesterday morning and I jumped in there. I jumped in there really fast. Uh, I may do it if you guys are going to go, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it on the tribe, but uh uh, I may go up and, and maybe their days around it will be cool. I don't know. You know, I will check and see maybe, uh, you know, and I'll let you know. But uh, if you guys book something like the 16th going into the 17th or whatever, I don't know. Let me know. Right. Um, and we also have the extra Zoom. Yes. Tonight is a Zoom call with the tribe. Yes, that's true. So. Uh, I will be posting that in a few minutes. Susan, hello. Hello, hello. You just made it. Okay, guys, do something nice for someone else. It'll make you feel a whole lot better. Please, if you're not watching this live or you are new to joining us, post in the comments if you're someone who really loves Moon Knight. Help me to understand why I should still watch this. And if you don't, uh, find it entertaining. Maybe we share a couple of similarities, but in a nutshell for me, I want to see the white go ghost guy in the outfit. I'm missing the white ghost guy in the outfit that they used to advertise the whole series. I wanted to see that guy in action and I got to see him once. And that was a teaser that made me want more, you know? So I wanted it more after that. So yeah. So anyone who, who finds it exciting, hi, Cindy, forgive me, Cindy, anyone who finds it exciting and thrilling or anyone who finds that they're missing out and they know this character, 
Just help me to better understand. Maybe I'm not the demographic though. And that happens, you know, that happens. Cindy says, sorry, just in. I don't know if your reference to July 17th was about Disneyland, but I do have reservations. It was Cindy. I I'm there on the birthday for the first time since the pandemic started. I'm there. Yeah. I booked a ticket. Yeah. Yeah. I, I grabbed it as soon as I could because I thought it would be sold out. And I was scared because my bookkeeper had booked it like four days before you see me and math is a challenge. Okay. So with a dream key pass, you get like, I don't know, what is it, 90 days or 120? I don't know how many days, but I'm like, I got to do the math. And, and by the time I do, there's all. So luckily she just said go and I went and I was able to do it on my own before the tribe said to help me book a reservation because the app was so confusing. I couldn't figure it out. But luckily uh, my, my tribe helped me do it, Cindy. So I'll see you there. I'll see you there, my love. Now I want to see the white ghost guy. I haven't tried the site yet. Yeah, well, well, Disney Plus, it's on Disney Plus, okay? You can Google Moon Knight and see the guy more, the ghost guy, than you can in the series, which is what's frustrating me, okay? Just so you know. That's what's really frustrating me, Michelle, is that I see him more in the posters than I do in the actual show. So, you know, listen to me. I'm like, he's there. Why aren't we looking at him? And I'm thinking, you know, maybe last episode we get to see him. And so why don't I just wait for the last episode? Cause he's the one I want to see, you know, I mean, some of you guys love this actor that's playing the, the character that is either mad or has time continuum. I don't even know. Don't even care. Um, and he is very charming, but I is not why I'm tuning in. I wanted to see the ghost guy. So <laughs> My husband says they don't have the budget to show you the ghost guy all the time. And I'm saying, why make it then? So you guys who know Moon Knight, maybe it's not about the ghost guy. Just help me out. Okay. And I'll keep checking back here. And uh, don't, yeah, the reservation say it's just, you know, it feels like, you know, trying to uh, have a day with the DMV. No offense, DMV. Uh, but, uh, you know, the sloths were depicted in Zootopia for a reason. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> uh, thank you. I love you. Do something nice for someone else. You'll feel a whole lot better. Thank you. This is a record for me. Woohoo! And I will see you Friday for Ask Me Anything Friday. Hugs and loves for everyone there. See you on the flip side. Be well. Have a great week. And come May 4th if you want to join me for the daytime. And I'll try to stay later in case you have the evening uh, tickets uh, before I leave so that we can at least uh, high five each other before I go. Okay. Take care. Bye everybody.